All right, guys. Today's workout for Thursday is gonna be working on our core strength and gymnastics movement here. So we got that part A, part B. Part A being the body lever, so we're working on that skill of controlling the descent. This is a great way to build core strength. If you're working up to a toaster bar, this is also another way to kind of work on it. Um, we're doing four to six sets of three to five reps, so a little bit more sets than the last time. Um, the idea again is like if we can maybe do one more set, that'll help us kind of increase that volume, get us more exposure to the movement, and ideally build more strength and endurance with it. Part B, we're doing three sets, um, still working towards kind of the gymnastics movement where we're kind of focusing more on the movement of the planche. This is gonna help us uh, build core strength again. It's a very advanced movement, so I don't expect you guys to be able to do these perfectly, but the idea and the concept of how to hold those positions, what we're looking for, is gonna apply and be transferable to a lot of gymnastics movements. So we got a hollow hold to start. When we're done that, we're gonna go into some scapula push-ups from that planche position, and then plank to tuck. So this is all progressions to build up to that planche, and it doesn't mean that this won't help you in other ways, or it's just gonna help you with the planche. Like I said, a lot of these skills are transferable. The scapula push-ups are gonna help you guys work on building shoulder strength for your push-up, bench press, any kind of pushing movement, because it's super important to be able to have control of those shoulder blades. The plank to tuck, another way to work on building core strength for a toes to bar, knees to elbows, or just overall control of your midline. So lots of benefits from this, but th this does also help you work towards that ultimate movement of the planche. Looks pretty cool, but um, that's not what's expected obviously out of today. It's more about building those kind of foundations to build up to that. Um, when we're done that strength work, we're gonna get sweaty on the assault bike. We're gonna go five rounds of assault bike intervals, going two minutes on, two minutes off. We're going at different paces and the idea is to basically map those paces out in our head. Really learn what does it mean to go at 60%, what does it mean to go at 70%. The idea of this is to build endurance. Um, we're not trying to just get sweaty in this one, we're trying to be really focused on really learning the skill of pacing. So if we can find those five gears for ourselves, it helps us pace our workouts a lot better. We can endure a lot longer because we kind of know where to sit at in order to conserve energy for a long workout, short workout, whatever it is. So we're exploring and finding those paces today. I want you to track your average RPM at the end of each round. So basically, if you just hit the stop button, right when you finish the two minutes, it should give you, or it should alternate between max RPM that you achieved in the two minutes, and it should give you an average RPM too. Write that average RPM down, because that's good to know. It'll give you a good idea of like what your paces are from 60% to 100% track your calories as well um, and if you want to go above and beyond with this maybe even write how hard it felt maybe you did 60% um, it was like a 6 out of 10 then you did 70% and it was like a 10 out of 10 write that down then it gives you a good idea that maybe you went too fast and just kind of like adjust your pace a little bit on the next round take it two notches down to an 8 out of 10 uh, when you go into that round. So this is all about, again, learning our paces, mapping that on our head, training that as we do today's workout. Hope you guys have fun with this one, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.